You know what they say, dogs are man's best friend, and they can be such an excellent addition to your family. They're playful, intelligent, and will do anything to protect your family from an oncoming intruder. While they are very social and active, even around children, but not all the furry breeds can be socialized, and if they aren't trained from an early age, they can never be entirely social. On the other hand, some dog breeds can be a bit too playful or aggressive, for that matter of fact. With that said, here are the top worst dog breeds for a family with kids. Number 10. Border Collie Border Collies were bred initially for only one reason, to herd, and their behavior is more akin to their herding instinct. Hence, if a child around the age of 8 to 13 doesn't properly behave around them, a Border Collie could bite due to that. They need to be properly trained, which is not an easy task, and it can take a very long time. Number 9. Chow Chow they're an elite breed from China, and they were mostly bred to hunt down predators. They're very aloof, antisocial, and have a powerful sense of instinct, and they do not like being approached by a stranger, and especially by kids. Due to their predatory nature, there is a chance they could bite if a child tries to touch or pet them playfully. Number 8. Dalmatian Dalmatians have a very high prey drive and an urge to bite if they feel provoked, so they can't be left around with kids completely unsupervised. Their massive size and pure strength is another valid reason not to adopt this breed to your home or introduce them to your children. Apart from these, Dalmatians can inherit deafness after a certain age, which could bring many issues that a child is not capable of understanding and could lead to trouble with the dog. Number 7. Shih Tzu Shih Tzu's smaller sizes allow them to zip around your feet, looking for your attention, but this can also lead to an accidental trip. If an adult can be tripped, imagine them around your kids who recently learned how to walk. While they are very friendly and mean no harm, if your kid trips and falls over the dog, he could retaliate and bite. Number 6. Alaskan Malamute Due to Alaskan Malamute's huge size and furry bodies, people often mistake them for a wolf because they do look like wolves, which should concern you. They can have a temper and due to their extreme size, even a slight movement can knock your child off his path. Their size is a reason many wouldn't recommend them if you have kids. Number 5. Siberian Husky An adult husky can be considered too big for a family with lots of children, just like Alaskan Malamutes. They also can be very skeptical sometimes, especially when loud sounds and unpredictable movements are common in households with kids. If they are provoked for some reason, even an adult will find it difficult to stop them, and you and your child could end up severely injured from their bites. Number 4. Pekingese Pekingese is another breed of small dogs like Shih Tzu that can have a temper sometimes. They may bite or yip if they ever feel threatened. Their biting can be seen as a response for them trying to appear big and scary when spooked. They also don't like being poked or pulled by their tails, which kids often do when they are around pets, and they could bite if they get annoyed by that. Number 3. Akita Inu Akitas are guard dogs, like Rottweilers, and so they have a powerful instinct, and such instincts don't just go away that easily. This potentially means you can't leave your child alone with them. Children may not play along with your pet dog, and due to their instinct, they may be feel threatened by that, so their natural response would be to retaliate. Number 2. Chihuahua you may wonder why Chihuahua is on our list considering how small and popular they seem, but don't be misled by that. They are also one of the breeds with the highest reports of dog bites, and such reasons should be a cause for concern. Their temper and biting tendencies are why we wouldn't recommend this breed for adoption if you have kids at home. Number 1. Weimariner Don't let their magical looking eyes and unique fur coat fool you. They've been bred to hunt large game, a class of prey that, size-wise, can look pretty similar to a child under the age of 13. And while this trait doesn't mean that a Weimariner will constantly be on the hunt when they're at home, it does mean that they're known to play rough with their humans, particularly if they're not getting enough exercise and attention otherwise. To keep them in good behavior, their high energy needs to be used by giving lots of exercise, runs, and walks. If you are a busy parent who can't meet those needs, better go for a kid-friendly dog breed. That's all, folks. Now, before you close this video or jump on to the next one in the queue, let me give you a challenge, and let's see if you can do that in five seconds. Get ready! Your time starts now. Press the like button for this video, followed by the subscribe button, and then the bell button. Let me know in the comments if you managed to do it in five seconds. Thanks, and I'll see you all next time. Ta-ta!
Thank <laughs> you.